guys, you already know. Or maybe you don't. We're not just gonna keep going about life acting like we're not in a Black Mirror episode. Like, Instagram comment sections are arguably the worst place to be on the internet. It seems like it's ran by bots. It's so, like, normalized to hate. It seems so fake, and it's like, it doesn't seem like it's, like, humans doing that. But, unfortunately, it's the humans. For the most part i didn't really know how i was gonna format it i didn't know if i was gonna like get some videos open the comments and show y'all that that i be seeing or if i should just have a conversation and i think i'm just gonna have a conversation y'all whoever said them little twitter minions are gonna come running to instagram did not lie because instagram comments used to never be this bad you cannot open a comment section anywhere on instagram without there being some kind of top comment that is kind of unnecessary rude or just something to kill the mood like if there's a really good wholesome video i bet you you're not going to want to open the comments because the video is not going to be wholesome anymore and your your mood is automatically ruined as a collective we have to stop waking up and getting on our phones because that does something to our brains we have to stop looking for negative comments because it does something to our brains enjoy the simplistic things the sweet things the things that we care about. I think we're forgetting that like, okay, so I'm Gen Z, but you know, the generation that's coming up, I don't know what they're called, but they're growing up on technology. And imagine like a little kid, like 10 years old, 11, 12, 13. Imagine them getting on social media and already like subconsciously like learning how to judge themselves because you're constantly seeing other people it's like a comparison game online you're being fed all this information at once and then you can't even like make your own biases you can't form your own opinions or anything like that because you have kind of a base and it's stuff that you heard on the internet which is crazy and the human development is going to change like the way like all of that stuff is gonna change it's so weird isn't it this is gonna be a lot it has to be talked about like nobody's really saying anything you know people don't really care that much and i think that's why it's so bad everyone is so salty and mean now i don't know if y'all heard that train outside i'm so sorry me knowing how the internet works every app is going to try to copy each other so this is just going to be something that is going to just eventually happen on every single app this problem is only going to get worse and then bots on top of that the way bots can kind of interact like humans is very scary we are truly entering our detroit become human era a lot of the comments like i've noticed because like i'm the type to do investigating also i know i said that i was gonna stop doing the whole comment diving bullshit, but i i just started looking into it more because now it's almost fascinating how sick this is so like the fact that a lot of the arguments that start on instagram are usually from a bot or like a fake burner account that somebody made it don't even be like a real account it'd be like an account with like five followers and it's private it may have like a bio but it's like mostly just a front to make it look like it's like a regular person these same accounts will like just go on random things or will somehow like be able to like see the things that we're seeing and just comment out of pocket things you know hate gets more attention nowadays you know um you know it's a lot more money making to just be problematic and negative which is so weird everything is about a reaction it's about some quick dopamine it's about um looking into things longer than you should or caring about certain things that you probably shouldn't be caring about it's set up like this on purpose like i remember in the beginning of the year whenever i first watched um what is it called the social dilemma on netflix um you know back in the beginning of the year when i deleted my account and i was like you know saying my little goodbye acting like i was leaving i came back after that point i made my shift but i definitely am still in that world and i don't know how but you know they they did a good job and i'm just making this video because i want y'all to also be aware of it all of this is set up the way it's set up on purpose and you know realistically like the people behind these social media apps you know there's you know like regular regular people who have like social media jobs but like the people who are like designing this and like really like getting deep into it they don't care about your life 
their goal is to make sure you're on that app you're in that comment section you're looking at whatever forever this here um i'm not gonna play the video because that's extra i can just give an explanation and fully break it down because at the end of the day all this is very simple and it's just it's pure hatred at the end of the day weird people behind the screen that have no life or it's bots like that's it but like okay so this girl she posted something she was probably like showing like a transformation of some kind like just showing her progress in something or whatever i opened the comments because i don't know i, I really don't know why i couldn't tell you why i like have that urge to open comments i think it's because like in the back of our mind we know like there's always going to be something whether that something is good or bad we don't really care we're just curious people like by nature but i'm not gonna lie like i kind of do be trying to scope out for bad comments because i just want to tell them about themselves and like kind of tell them to stop but realistically me as one individual person i cannot stop every single hate comment i cannot prevent these people coming their way and like being lame just a waste of space it feels like and i don't want to say that because i don't want to be the person that's calling another person a waste of space but if you're doing all of that that's all i'm really going to be thinking if we're being completely honest anyways the first comment says rule one never read instagram comments because it will just kill anything for you it doesn't it doesn't matter how good the video is somebody is going to have something to be upset about someone's gonna bring up something about an influencer if they post the video and they're trying to enjoy themselves and be a good person if a celebrity is posted there are somebody in the comments is gonna bring up something that they did 10 years ago if your mama posted a selfie somebody's gonna have a problem it's always gonna be something and then i have a screenshot of this reel of this guy saying to be honest i don't even really like social media i just don't have anything to do and that's sad that there's a lot of people in our generation that agree to that that is very sad it's time to go touch grass literally it's time to get off the phone when our mother said it was the phone they were right they were on to something it's like nicotine like we feel like we have to have like something playing we have to watch something before we eat we have to listen to music while doing things our mind always has to be stimulated because we done fill our brain with so much you're not even supposed to be taking in all the information that you do on a daily basis like you probably shouldn't even be watching this video <laughs> if you've gotten to a point where social media is pleasing you more than real life then you're just gone it's so interesting because it's like think about like a decade or two from now and the fact that you know ai is going to be way more advanced like social media is going to be at a different place there's going to be more apps they're just going to be kind of wanting people to post everything everywhere it's like damn is instagram not enough is youtube not enough is tiktok not enough we got new versions of twitter now we have threads everything just feels so like too late like irreversible when are people gonna come and like realize that you know social media even though it's important and it does a lot of good it's also doing a lot of bad at the same time like as much good as there is there's just the same amount of like bad and it's like you can't even enjoy the good because the bad is so ripe and like the the stench of it is so strong people in the comments were saying like they wish they had an active life like people can't even like enjoy a boring life anymore like even me like sometimes i feel like oh my god my life is so boring so much to the point where i don't want to record but honestly now it's kind of making me think like this is what i need to be recording i need to be just vlogging my ordinary average of life like people need to realize that this is luxury you're in a whole nother world when you're like stuck in social media that's like a whole different reality and think about where it's going to go just think about where it's going to go use your imagination nothing can be too far-fetched now it takes up so much time that it almost feels like a waste and it's like where do we find that balance especially for like maybe somebody like me who you know works on social media like social media is their job eventually like things aren't going to be able to go smoothly unless you have some form of social media unless you have a phone if you have a phone you're fucked. all this black rock bull it's like what do we do it goes deeper than just like instagram comments even though this is just about instagram comments like it gets so much deeper and i just fall into a 
fucking rabbit hole. Why am I entertaining this person that I don't even know is a person? Why do I care so much about this individual that could be miles and miles away? Why don't we care about the fact that we're obviously being watched to some capacity because they're going to feed you what's going to keep you stuck. They're going to feed you what's going to keep you scrolling and all that shit. People will complain about TikTok and, oh, the Chinese government got our information. They've been had our information. Y'all shop on Shein and Timu. They've been had your information. It doesn't matter what social media you have. Everything from everything is going to end up everywhere. It's really dangerous also. Like, politics change. Certain, like, in real life serious things change because of social media and what people say on social media. What you see like you don't even know if it's true something about it is just very morbid we don't know things to the full extent i don't think we ever really will unless like those people that made social dilemma make like something similar but i definitely recommend y'all watch that because the way they break it down it'll make you just think and maybe take a break i have a timer on my instagram i thought it was gonna help but i'm always telling myself 15 more minutes 15 more minutes like when am I gonna stop? When am I gonna discipline myself enough or really have like a timely schedule? Why would our phone make an option for a timer if it's also gonna give us the option to say the timer? Like if I'm gonna put a limitation on here, I need y'all to like lock it. And that's kind of just what I wanted to say. But before I go, I do wanna say you are very capable of being free. Take more control. Like the video, comment give me your thoughts i want to know what you think about all of this because i'm sure there's some dang why she hang up on me i'm sure there's some stuff that like i probably want to say but it's not even in mind right now because when i start talking like it starts just snowballing and i can't really stay in order i can't wait to see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much 